Amanda gone? Yep. What are you do doing today? You are not wasting time all day. There's nothing to do. There's plenty for you to do, Carlo. If you were on the island, you'd be walking from early morning till night. You don't realize how lucky you are. Now, go and collect firewood this morning and come for the youth fellowship this afternoon. But I'm playing folly at five. You are coming for the youth fellowship. You hear me, Carlo? JD, how can I help you? Okay. Okay. They cut through the fence. Took your purse? Yeah. When did this happen? Last night. Oh, hold on, madam. At the other phone is ringing. I'll answer it and come back to you. Yes, in a minute. What's wrong now? What? Yeah, I told you, I had a few drinks with the boys. No, I turned the phone off. What's wrong with that? Elizabeth, look. I have to go now, okay? I'll be back at lunch. Talk about it then. Are you trying to look today? You man? I don't know what have we done. He's down there telling lies to his poor wife. It isn't funny. Yes, madam. I'll take your name and address. Yes, I'll come over to your house and see where they got in. Hello, one sec. How is it, boys? What do you think? Hey, better luck next time, man. Next step. and make sure Benny doesn't eat the policeman. Rose, don't clean the stove. Didn't see anyone in the garden or on the road? No, but the dogs went crazy at about 7 or 7.30. I told Rose to go outside, but she was too frightened. When I went into the kitchen, the back door was open. My purse was lying on the ground outside. How much was in it? That's the funny part. There wasn't any cash in it. And uh, where was the minister? He's at a conference overseas. What are you going to do about this? Do? How are you going to catch them? Don't know what they look like, what they were wearing. They haven't taken anything. You've got to do something. I don't feel safe here anymore. Get security on the house 24 hours. I'm sure your husband can rinse it. I don't like being watched all the time. That's what they did. They saw you watch us on the veranda, went through the back door. They were watching me? Not anymore. They won't come back again. I can promise you that. This answer is right, but you've marked it wrong. All right. You get an extra half mark. Half? 
you girls are doing well. Keep it up. We don't let anything distract you, okay? He means don't get interested in boys. It's why Karen had to leave, huh? Because she was seeing a point at 12. So stupid. Now she's at home. Carlo and Jeff hang around all day with Cherry. They can't get any work. They just go like crowd and walk around town. Who's Cherry? A friend of Carlo. What's it like? It's stupid to be interested in boys, remember? <laughs> So, I'm home. I'm tired, Mark. I need to know the truth. What's all this? Rosalind's husband saw you with a woman. One of the girls that hangs around the bars. John. He was just covering his tracks. Telling lies about me to Rosalind. If I find out you're lying this time, Mark, I'll leave. I'm not lying. I'm not. Hey, those are not covered in neighbor's goods. Look, you, when I came to this country, I thought it was some kind of untouched paradise. But that's a pack of lies. This is the fourth time I've been broken into. Number four. A lot of people here don't have any work. And that gives them the right to steal my possessions, does it? No, but this place is in paradise. Nowhere on earth is. Well, you should stop calling it paradise and call it hell. Oh, I'm going to make sure everyone knows about this. Excuse me? What's the matter with him? He wants us to stop all robberies from today. There's a gang going around, walking to people's houses and taking cash out of their purses. I went to see the minister's wife. They took her purse. The minister's wife? Lucky she had no money in it, or we'd have the minister down here, demanding we go through the pockets of every boy in the country. The politicians steal more money than the boys ever do. Try taking them to court. 